Hello Europe, it's William calling from Wooby Blogs, and we are excited to bring you a special interview with Supernova contestant Rehard Berzins, who's joining us from Latvia. Um, also joining us is Patrick Melbler, our Austrian correspondent and a huge fan of Supernova. Hello, guys. Hi. Hey, man. Um, Patrick, just a quick question for you. Why are you such a big Latvia fan? Uh, it's because they always send extraordinary songs. I mean, Cake to Bake or Pirates of the Sea. Yeah. I mean, they, they just have extraordinary special songs, and that's why I love Latvia. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> now, Rehards, or Richie, as we're going to call you, uh, sure. could you tell us a bit about your song, Your Eyes? Well, basically, it's a song about a girl I have fallen for, kind of. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'll see that on stage. But it's a song about a girl's eyes, how the eyes are the mirror of the soul, basically. And uh, you can see a person, you can get to know a person and fall in love with the eyes. Because if you fall in love with looks, you fall in love for a period of time because looks change, but eyes never change. So if you fall in love with eyes, it's forever. Oh. So how long did it take you to write it and what were your inspirations? Well, the thing is, I didn't write it alone. Uh, the, the, the huge help was from Inga Sturimus, who actually, he had three songs on Supernova this year. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea why. But uh, yeah, and he was, the music from him was inspired by Avisi, actually. And uh, that's why you can hear some motives, some, some themes from him in the song. So that's why I like it. It's not purely a Eurovision or Supernova song. It's more, more like more stage song and, and then you can actually sing it on stage in different many concerts not not only on the Eurovision Song Contest. Great and just to follow up on the first question are you thinking about anyone in particular when you sing about your eyes? <laughs> well I, I'm the kind of person that if I even like or have like like close to feelings for a girl, I have it for one person and alone. It's, 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 I, I never go for two. <laughs> it just messes everything up. And that, that's how I live. And uh, right now, that field is kind of free. I'm, I'm actually really, really focused on my work and, and doing whatever I can just to, I don't know, even stay alive because I have so much going on right now. But it's fun. It's a fun, actually. I really like it. But right now, no, 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 nobody. Cool. And um, you're already a star in Lithuania because you competed on Lithuania's <laughs> Got Talent. Why did you want to go on TV again with Supernova? Well, it's, it's fun because I, I was on, I've been on many different Latvian TV shows. And the reason I went to Lithuania because a friend of mine, a choreographer, a dancer, went there. And she asked me if I was going. And I was like, what are you talking about? And she just showed me the, 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 com the competition. And I was like, okay, sure, let's go. Like... Who cares? And a week after, I went there and showed myself, and apparently they liked me. I was surprised too. But uh, no, actually, the main reason I wanted to see how people in Lithuania react to me when they do not know me from zero, from scratch, and I just wanted to start from build there and see see how it goes. And so far, it's been amazing. I have a, a song recording, a video making. Right now, I have like every day. I have trainings and re re rehearsals for the song and it's 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 crazy i'm i have no free days but i like it, it it's how i live right now <laughs> uh speaking of lithuania how was that experience for you did you learn anything that you can use today or for supernova well yes definitely because uh the levels uh actually can't say levels because the attitudes and everything else in lithuania was so different from latvia and it actually opened my eyes a little because now I want to see how it works in Austria or any other country because I think it's, it's an amazing experience to actually see how they work, how they make the show, how they work with you. And it, it's really amazing, actually. Lithuania was, was, was really good. And obviously, the first heat of Supernova took place last night. Did you watch? Yeah, I did. <laughs> wow, what a surprise. <laughs> and what did you make of the competition? Well, the thing is, there will always be really good songs, and there will always be, like, mediocre songs. I'm, j I'm, I'm being real, and, and I don't know in which category my song is. <laughs> to be honest, I have really no idea. But, yeah, the thing is, 
it was good. It's it's it is better than previous years. Uh, the the work with the cameras and the lights, they've really thought about a lot of things there. Uh, there are some hiccups though, which I will see this Sunday. But uh, still, I like the fact that they're not working with outside monitors for singers. They're using the earphones, and that's really amazing. They've stepped up their game, and I love it. Uh, who do you see as your biggest competitor? Competitor, wow. Uh, I, I know the Markus Riva with uh, the song Take Me Down. He has a lot of fans in Russia and Russian-speaking people because he, he was in a show there. Also, the 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 last ones, uh, the uh, Electro Folk, what are they called? They were really, really good. They were original and something, something really cool. I don't know. In my opinion, uh, we are not competitors. We are like allies in battle because we're going for a single goal, for the same goal, to show our country, show what we can do. And we are brothers in arms, how do you say in America. We, we go for the same goal and we fight for our country right now. And uh, right now it's for the field of music. So I believe that we're all allies, not competitors. And I'm going to be happy for whoever goes to Austria. But of course, I would love it for it to be me. Okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, can you tell us anything about your stage show for next Sunday? Ma, for Sunday, I was actually, the first idea was that I uh, do a lot of things that haven't been done yet on Latvian TV, like uh, work with the camera like twisted around and, uh, or like it was, since the camera would be sitting on a, like a rotate, rotating uh, thingy and I just spin it around and then stop it. Or stuff like that, but they didn't want, didn't allow me to. I also wanted to do black and white at the start, but it would affect their quality and blah 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 and rules and everything. But right now, I'm focusing on the uh, plays with lights and contrasts, and uh, I'm gonna do a solo man dance because I thought dancers were kind of cliche; they're everywhere. And uh, I wanted to do something I haven't done, what is new for me and what is new for the audience. And uh, I think it's going to be really cool if, I, if everything plays out like planned. <laughs> uh, since 2008, Latvia didn't qualify for the final again. Uh, why is Latvia always underrated? What do you think? <laughs> well, many people don't actually approve of this. This is an unpopular opinion, I think. But uh, it's the politics mostly uh of course we are three sister countries the us the uh yeah lithuania latvia and estonia we are sister countries and we're too small for the big ones let's be real because uh we are there are only one or two bands in latvia that have actually gotten out but uh yeah because of the countries yeah we're actually too small and in my in my opinion it's, it's mostly the politics the most neutral countries get further because nobody has anything against them. But uh, since the historical events of the World War II, one and everything in between, uh, a, a lot of countries won't vote for us. I have no idea why. Plus, our president's kind of weird right now. Uh, I'm, I, actually, my dream is to go to another country in America or, or Great Britain. That'd be awesome. But it's actually really hard because I have to start from the beginning. Okay, that's out of the context, but. Why? I think, yeah, the politics. In my opinion, it's definitely about that. Of course, if you make a huge song, a huge hit, it will work, but it's hard because this year the Supernova has uh, only Latvian authors and uh, last year's, previous years, there were a Swedish that uh, sent a lot of songs in that were great and this year is way harder for us, so we'll see how that goes. Mm. And what do you think about the new selection format, Supernova? Um, have the producers told you why they switched formats or why they made it only open to Latvian songwriters? Uh, I don't know about the Latvian songwriters, but I think that uh, in the Eurovision, like the, the Eurovision itself, uh, you had to go with your own song to the, uh, how do you call it, the auditions and everything. Uh, with your own song, prepared and everything. This year, I think it's pretty good because uh, came the singers, the artists, and the authors, and that put them together. And that part of the job, which is kind of the hardest for a musician to find a song or write a song, they have given a, a perfectly good, well 
like designed or produced song already and they just had to work 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 and that's really good on the other hand it's really like confusing because if uh, if i sing my song i sing it with more energy and passion but uh i think it's a really good uh, opportunity like exactly opportunity for singers that are not that known because they're given a really good song and a huge boost at the start uh, your Twitter profile says, make love, not war. Uh, is making <laughs> peace an important value for you? Uh, y well, yeah, I'm the kind of person, I never fight. I, I mean, physically. I don't approve of that. It, it gets people nowhere. And uh, if you do want an argument, sure, I'll talk to you. Uh, you can prove me wrong. I can prove, or, prove you wrong. It achieves more. And uh, I just, I, I'm an, I, I like to be more intellectual about things just to just to yeah just to uh, i forgot the english word damn it <laughs> just just to end up like ah oh, god darn it gotta read more books yeah well just to get things over with talking not fighting that's my motto great and Presumably, you've listened to all the Latvian songs throughout Eurovision history. Nope. Oh. Nope. <laughs> so, are you not a Eurovision fan? I, I wouldn't say I'm not a fan, but I also wouldn't say I haven't listened to them. Of course, I follow everything what happens in, in Latvia because it's interesting for me, and I do support us Latvians all going together because we are small, but we are strong. <laughs> but, yeah, well... How to say, I haven't listened to everything, but I've listened to most of it, and I've listened to, like, even the songs that didn't get to the, the live show. But still, I think uh, some mistakes maybe were made, some weren't, but that's life, and you can't do anything about it. But yeah, I think uh, there were a few really good songs that didn't get through, uh, which made me kind of sad. But yeah... I don't listen to it like regularly because I have my own stuff to do. So yeah, I wouldn't call me a fan, and I wouldn't call me not a fan. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a fan of Latvia. <laughs> can Can you name your favorite song from the past of Latvia at Eurovision? Wow, uh, I really like the Pirates of the Caribbean, Pirates of the Sea. Sorry, Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> is a movie, uh, and I really like the. Uh, we had this. I don't know year 2009, 2010, the Bonaparte, the five or six guys that went on and sang the, the Italian song, because I sang that song in Germany in uh, the Hamburg City Festival or something. And then, and, yeah, I've sang it and it's really close to me. I still don't know what the song is about because <laughs> it's an Italian, but I don't know. It just It just stuck to me, I think. I really liked it. So you don't have a favorite song outside of Latvia from Eurovision? Uh, well, I last or the year b after before, I really liked the Eric Saad that uh, I will be popular. I don't know why. It's very cliche <laughs> and uh, weird, but the show was good. The lights were good. His dances were good. I just I don't look at the song as simply the song or the words. I look at everything that the artist makes. He's a performer. If he was only a singer, then yes, but he's a performer, and the art of performing is dancing lights and getting everything together in one piece and showing that to everybody. Great. Uh, you're only 18 years old. Do you yeah, think that's an advantage? Barely. <laughs> is, that, is that an advantage, being one of the younger contestants? Wow, well, pff, that's a hard one. Actually, I just, I just turned 18 like, not, like, less, than, less than a month ago. But it's not an advantage in that area where I have to drive to places because I don't have my license yet. But <laughs> I'm working on that. I'm, work I'm getting there. Uh, but I, I don't know. I really don't know. It, it depends of, on who watches the Eurovision because I haven't checked that. I don't know that. Only the statistics know that, and I don't get to that data. Because if it's girls, I'm all in. <laughs> uh, but it, you never know and uh, it's not always the age because uh, in the Eurovision w has been won by many different age categories by many different people and you, you basically never know it's like if the audience likes you it's perfect if it doesn't well sorry 
Uh, and finally, do you have a message for our readers and fans of Weebly Blogs? Wow, well, the message would be spread love, not war. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what I want to say to people because I let my saying speak to my music and uh, I'm the person who uh, I bring up my mood or bring down however I want just by listening to music and I listen to all kinds of music and I, I really advise you and uh, would tell you to listen to all kinds of music just to get a glimpse of every part of the wonder that is outside outside there out there and only then you will see the big picture of why people are doing it and then you'll feel it like i do or many other musicians do great well rehards thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today no problem you can call me again <laughs> and for all you readers out there you can watch rehards compete in the second heat of supernova 2015 this sunday february 8th you can follow all the action on Wooby blogs and we have linked rehards social media profiles below be sure to follow him and we wish him all the best thank you patrick thank you, thank you rehards yeah